Hi, this is Tom Blushy here, and you're watching this on 987's Facebook. It's not every day you have a Game of Thrones cast member in the 987 studio, and there's only one way to greet the man known as Tom Vlaschiha, Vala Mogulis. Vala Duhairis. There, wow, very, very mm -hmm. deep voice. Uh, Tom, I have to say, congratulations on the success that Game of Thrones has brought you. Thank you very much. But with every success story, there's always either a story of hard work, luck, timing. How did you actually come across the role of Chuck and Hagar? Well, I'd say it's all of the above. Um, I have an agent in London, and, and, and Game of Thrones is mainly cast in London. So um, at some point five years ago, I was sent uh, a scene, actually the first scene, uh, where my character appears in the cage, and I was asked to do a self-tape. Mm -hmm. Luckily for me, I had never heard about the show, because it was for season two and season one hadn't aired yet. Yeah. Uh, so I had, I had no idea what it was. Um, it just said like uh, American fantasy show uh, with dragons and um, <laughs> some <laughs> stuff. Um, yeah, so I just did a tape and didn't think about it much and send it off. And then I got a call. Uh, was there like plenty of callbacks or just like one there or There was two? one one callback, yeah, to meet the producers and uh, director. Mm -hmm. And for Jack and Hagar, I mean, the language that he speaks in the show, it's so third person, he goes, a man, a girl. What was it like, you know, mastering the way Jack and Hagar speaks? Yeah, that was tricky. That was actually the only thing I, I, I wasn't sure about it, uh, sure about in the, in, in the beginning because I thought if you now try to do a lot of uh, a lot of acting uh, on top of that then it might be very confusing and, and people um, will n have a hard time understanding what you're trying to say so I just I mean my initial impulse was to to speak as smoothly as possible just think the, the things uh, I'm saying mm -hmm. and yeah, I think that's 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 worked uh, pretty well. Did you have time to you know like rehearse your lines before you shoot, or did they just hand you the script straight away and say, okay, let's shoot now? No, you, you you do have a few days and <laughs> <laughs> and weeks. It's 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 not that secretive. Um, uh, we do get the scripts um, before the, the the season starts. And was there any like physical training or like mental training for Jack and Hagar with all the you know all the mask and all the faceless stuff? It's a good thing, you know. I'm a lazy actor, so <laughs> I, I, I I don't like to sweat when I'm working. Yeah. And uh, yeah, luckily for me, I mean, Jack and does all his kills off screen, and um, yeah. So no, I did. There was no particular training required. Now that said, I mean, I'm not sure how you. I like with with horror because I I can't take horror for season five and season six. Of course, we see the house of black and white. Mm -hmm. And what was the set like? Because I mean, on TV or on the screen, you see all these like prosthetic, faceless things. And and I was like, I wonder how Tom feels about facing these things every day. Were there like nightmares uh, of like the masks uh, and stuff? No, no, it was very cool because when I when I first read the script, mm -hmm. I thought, okay, uh, this. It's going to be a lot of green screen. I mean, there's no way they're going to build this. Uh, um, and then first day, season five, I, I walk on set. They had actually built the whole thing. Uh -huh. So it was a huge hall uh, with all those faces on the, uh, on the columns. And it, it was just amazing because, I mean, it it felt like being in a, in a cathedral in a, in a way. And it, it adds so much, it helps you so much with your performance because you automatically, you lower your voice, you you change the way you walk. And it's, yeah, it was kind of, kind of a spooky atmosphere. Um, fun fact, um, the faces that you actually see on those columns, mm -hmm. um, it's like all people from set. It's the producers are up there. Uh, it's, it's uh, yes, yeah, set decorators are up there. So wh whoever was around got their cast taken. Hey, there you go, like a Game of Thrones Easter egg for you here on 987. Now, that's it. Do you ever watch Game of Thrones and you just take a step back and you go, wow, I I'm a part of something cool and huge like this? Yeah, I mean, it's it's. I think it's been a gift uh, to all of us actors uh, to be on a show like Game of Thrones because mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it's a worldwide phenomenon, and I I don't think any of us had expected that uh, at the beginning. So, yeah, it's 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 just great. And do you have many friends and family members coming to you saying, what happens? What happens in this part or what happens in that part? Like begging for spoilers. People are trying, but um, <laughs> no chance. 
No chance, of course. I think there are plenty of like non-disclosure agreements for me have to sign. Now, I want to actually ask you questions that Jakan Hagar does in the show, but I want you to answer as Tom Vlascheha. Can you do that for me right now? You the want me to answer as... As yourself, as, as, as yourself. Myself, so yeah. in the show, of course... Jacqueline Hagar tells Arya Stark that she has to let go of everything for mm-hmm. her former life to become no one. For Tom Vlascheha, what's the hardest thing to let go of? If you were to become the actual faceless man on no one. Ooh. <laughs> Someone has thought of a good question. Thank you very uh, much. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I, I, it's, it's, it's hard to say. Yeah. I mean, for me, this whole thing of letting go always uh, reminded me of like what it is like to become an actor you know you, because you actually you have to let go of your own personality and try to take on a different personality mm-hmm. but what part of my personality i would have a hard time i don't know it's very hard to think of one one yeah i mean, it's, I, mean I think it's a it's the mix it's a mix of everything i, I think. think if you ask any youngster in this world the hardest thing to let go probably is social media uh also <laughs> so, yeah, in I, the, I would uh, miss my phone <laughs> in the in the uh, tv show of course you do ask Arya Stark for three names that you would you know mm-hmm. kill who are the three people in your life that you cannot bear to lose <laughs> That I cannot bear to lose. Yeah, that you cannot bear to lose. That you know, that's always on your mind. That you care for deeply. Just, just want to know more about Tom Blaschi. I mean, you wouldn't person. know them. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> it's, it's nice to get a personal side to you. Well, it's of course, it's it's friends and family. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. There we go. And I'm just going to be a bit of a conspiracy theorist here, okay? We know that season eight of Game of Thrones is happening in 2019. You are here to promote HBO's Asia's 25th anniversary, by the way. So I'm just connecting the dots here. Does this mean Jack and Hagar will be in season eight? A man knows nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go. This is Tom Blaschia live for you here on 987. Thank you so much for your time. I really hope you had fun. Thank you very much, Rick. Now, that's it. Exclusive for you on 987's Facebook. 25th anniversary of HBO Asia. Might be a bit hard for Tom Blaschia because he's being all mysterious. What are the 25 things you are most grateful for in life? I'm going to just start with the first one, being cast in Game of Thrones. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. being cast in Game of Thrones, mm-hmm. uh, being healthy, uh, being uh, in <laughs> Singapore right now. Okay. Uh, <laughs> keep going, keep 25 going. 25 25, you got, you got... Are you crazy? Um, uh, God, it's such a... It's a God. He's grateful Three. for God as well. That's four now. God. Uh, did I say God? <laughs> no, uh, yeah. Um... Uh, my mother, my father, my brother, my grandmother, my grand. Uh, how many? How, how, how uh, you have? know what? We, we, <laughs> we've lost count, but there we go. It's Tom Blas Chiha on 987's Facebook page. Thank, thank you so much for your time. It's such an honor to be speaking to yet another cast member from Game of Thrones. And I'm a personally a huge fan. We even have a Game of Thrones jacket in our studio as well. Thank you thank so you much. Very much.